A memorial to those who attended the Dozier School for Boys in Mariana has been unveiled 11 years after state leaders shut down the facility following allegations of abuse and suspicious deaths. This is something we've reported on for years now, especially after resource researchers discovered 55 unmarked graves on school grounds years after its doors were closed. For more on this tonight, ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit sits down with the survivors of Dozier and takes a deeper look at what actually went on at the state run institution. It was a place for troubled boys, but decades of abuse, inhumane treatment and skeletal remains were uncovered. And now state officials are making sure what happened there isn't forgotten. I went there when I was 12 and I, I got out when I was 13. Gene Luger was just a child when he was sent away to Dozier School for Boys. But what happened to him while there stays with the 78 year old to this day. I had one that hit me so hard in the face with his hand. Wow. I'll never forget that, you know. Luger was sent to the reform school twice and would ultimately spend three years there in the late 50s. You didn't know when they were going to come in and snatch you out of class and take you down and beat you. He vividly remembers being beaten bloody inside the small concrete building known as the White House. And hit you with that strap and the first time that strap hits you, it goes through every nerve in your body. I mean, every nerve. It's just... And it sounds like a shotgun. Luger tells me boys endured unimaginable mental, physical, and sexual abuse while wards of the state. There was about six, seven hundred boys there when I was there, you know. And uh, you, you, you heard things, different things, you know, like what? about boys getting raped. He survived Florida's 111 year secret, but many did not. The uh, project we've been doing the last few years looking for unmarked burial grounds. Dr. Aaron Kimmerly led a team of USF scientists that discovered 55 unmarked graves in the woods. What was surprising as we were finding more and more graves in the woods was why is there no list? Why is there no plot map? Why is you know, there no record of you know, really what happened to these children. You would think that, um, this, you know, there would have been more oversight and investigative work on the part of the state. The state shut down the institution for boys in 2011 after allegations of abuse and suspicious deaths. There's a disproportionate number of kids who are sent there who are black. That number is also disproportionate in terms of those who died. 75% were black. You kind of feel sorry for the ones that didn't make it. Marvin McMillan is part of the group of survivors known as the White House Boys. They came to Mariana, Florida Friday for the Dozier School Memorial Ceremony. The state erected the monument on school grounds to recognize the boys who lived and died there. The state need to do more because a lot of boys' uh, life was messed up back then. The state also issued a formal apology to survivors. For Luker, it's a small portion of justice for the torture they experienced. They want to make a monument out of it. I'd like to take a sledgehammer to it. I think I, that would relieve a lot of anger inside of me. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News. In addition to the memorial unveiled today in the Panhandle, there are also plans in the works right now to have a separate memorial placed on the grounds of the state capitol in Tallahassee.